So here we are in a new scene of uh, Cinema 4D. And the first thing we're gonna do, obviously, is uh, create a camera. Then we're gonna quickly just uh, step back here. Then we're gonna hit Control D, and we're just uh, gonna change our keyframe interpolation to linear. So we could see the effect uh, a little bit better, a little bit more noticeable. And we're just gonna zoom out of here. And we're just gonna quickly just animate our camera. All right, so we got this camera animation and we wanna just use Expresso to smooth this camera animation without tweaking any keyframes. So the first thing we do is we're gonna create a Cinema 4D tag and go to Expresso. Down the search here, we can type in sample and we'll bring in our motion graphics sample which uh, works with uh, all the MoGraph effectors. So in this case, we're gonna be using the delay. So we're gonna bring in the delay in and we're gonna connect the object to the effector. Now, the global matrix on the input and the output is actually gonna be the same exact camera. So we'll bring in the camera uh, two times and we're gonna Select here global matrix, connect global matrix to global matrix, and same thing, global matrix to global matrix. Now, we rewind our timeline and we play it back and we're still gonna get the same effect. So we're gonna start tweaking the delay and that's where our effect comes in. So 50% is pretty much nothing. So let's go to like 96. That usually always gives a nice smooth effect um, but you could always tweak it depending on how much smoothness you want so just to for demonstration sake let's just uh, duplicate the camera and we're going to delete the espresso so we have this is our linear camera and this is going to be our smooth camera so now if we rewind you're going to see it Right here, this is this is our setup and this is what's gonna make it work. So if we rewind the timeline, you're gonna start seeing the delay. So because there's a, a delay difference in between the frames, uh, we're gonna have to increase our timeline just a bit so we can see it finally uh, come to a rest. Maybe 200. And that's pretty much the effect. So if you wanna export this camera, so you could send it to a render farm, uh, bring it into After Effects. Uh, all you have to do is just export this out as an FBX, even Alembic works. But usually FBX uh, keeps the keyframes all nice. So we'll do FBX, just leave everything as is. And now I'm gonna merge in my baked camera. So baked camera. We can turn these off by alt clicking, delete our editor camera, and now you can see the big difference. So this is our linear camera, and this is our smoothed out camera. So you can see it creates nice smooth interpolation between the frames. This is not the way you would normally animate cameras, but it's, it's another technique that you can use uh, if you don't have enough time to tweak all the keyframes. This is like a setup that I usually go to when I'm in a time crunch. So I wanted to show you real quick, uh, just this simple scene that I set up. Uh, that way you can see what the smooth camera uh, versus the linear one uh, looks like so so we'll turn off the cameras for now so we can see it so this is our linear keyframe camera this is our linear keyframe camera and this is the smooth one 
So if we take a look at the linear one, this is what the scene looks like. Kind of crappy, not that interesting. So let's uh, take a look at the smooth camera, which I did the same effect as, as earlier. 